Tom Clark's main event is a Boink Studios production. And now, on with the show. This is Daddy's show. Step off. Hey, hey, what is up? Welcome back to the program, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tom Clark, and this is Tom Clark's main event. What's up, kids? Welcome back to the program. Yours truly, the one and only Tom Clark. I take that back. There's a lot of me out there, I mean, with the name, but this is the only one you know. Well, maybe not. It's the only one with the beard who's live right now with a bass guitar behind him. I'll bet you. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. It's a big world. What's up, guys? Happy Friday to everybody. Um, I've got the new black Superman shirt in honor of the Snyder Cut, which is, you guessed it, God-freaking-awful. Don't go out of your way. Actually, um, if, you, if you're if you a comic book guy or gal and you want to go out of your way, I guess you can. Uh, sure. I don't recommend it. Anyway, back to wrestling. Um, hit that like button for me right now. Hit the heart and the thumbs up and the hey, hey, smiley face and yeehaw stuff for me. That would be freaking awesome if you did that. Much thanks to you and yours for hitting that. Every time you show up means loads to me. Um, let's get some overlays happening here so you guys know what's up. Bam. There we go. There's one. Okay. Logo. Name. Where are we? Bam. Shows. Bam. Right there. So there you go. Do the kids still raise the roof? Do you guys? Anybody know what I'm talking about? All right. Let's get some hellos out of the way. Um, who was first to the dance this morning, afternoon, evening? Where are you in the world? Um, Guten Tag, Sandy in Germany. How are you doing, my friend? Carlos Martinez, Sugar Shane Odom. What's up? Easy E, Elvis Martinez. What's going on? Uh, Double V, Victor, what's going on, my friend? From now on, everybody, everyone gets nicknames. Soundbite Shannon is in the house. Belinda, uh, uh, Double B, that's good. BB, BB, there you go. Belinda, your name's BB from now on. Uh, uh, Jamel in Vegas, what's up? Uh, Vegas, uh, you're, I'm just going to call you Vegas from now on. How about that? Russell Jackson, what's going on? Uh, Russell Jackson, your nickname is Air Jordan. Can you live with that? Jeff, what's going on? Uh, let's see, Jeff. Um, I don't have a name for you. Um, I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> I've had like three cups of coffee this morning. Three? I don't know. Something like that. Several. More than one. Okay. So, uh, yeah, man. Hope everybody is doing great. Uh, William is back after a good long while. Thanks, William, for hanging out. Troy Grant, everybody say hello to Mr. Grant. Not Lou Grant, Troy Grant. One of the hosts of the Untitled Wrestling Podcast. Available everywhere you find your favorite podcasts. Troy, thanks for hanging out. Troy and I did an episode of the 6M Podcast the other day. We did a film commentary for Happy Gilmore. It was fun. I'm a big fan of that movie. That sucker will be coming out in short order. Uh, this year is the 25th anniversary. 25th. Yeah. Isn't that what we said? Yeah. Uh, fun stuff. Everybody go uh, f Everybody go friend Troy. He will friend you back. He's good like that. Uh, great guy, by the way. So, yeah, thanks for watching, brother. So um, let's go ahead. William wants to be called the one and only. That's a big nickname, William. Miss Lopez, what's going on? Uh, you can call me, uh, Chow Che. Chow Che? Yes. There you go. All right, kids. Bunches of stuff to talk about. Let's get the ticker ticking. She's a ticking. You know what that means? If the ticker's ticking, it's all good here in the land of Tom. Uh, I don't know why I said that. All right. So let's go ahead and get to this. Uh, before we get any farther, I'm going to, uh, bring up, a, uh, bring up a couple of things here. If I can find it, I'll find it. Never you fear. I will find it. You don't even know what I'm looking up. I didn't have something brought up 
in preparation for this. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Actually, I wasn't thinking anything, evidently. Um, by the way, before we get rolling here today, Peacock sucks. I'm on the record. That's it. I don't care what anybody thinks. Peacock absolutely sucks. Okay? Um, the rumor now is that they're going through like 17 or 15 or 16, 17,000 hours of content, the good people at the NBC. Um, and I'm going to tell you something right now. Don't be surprised if like a third of it does not get on Peacock when they're done. If they're done by SummerSlam, I will be shocked as well as you. Um, yeah, it's it's not looking good, man. It's an absolute uh, mess. It's hot garbage over there, if I'm being honest with you. I'm not happy with what I'm seeing. There's virtually no content on there yet. Um, we're not going to grieve over it too awful much, uh, except to say that, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's just not looking good. I'm not very happy with it. I don't know why they felt the need to change everything. The network in its initial form was just fine. Um, when they retooled it a few years ago, it was not so fine anymore. Um, it is what it is, but, uh, you know, dude, I, I, you know, you just, you take it for what it's worth and you hope that it gets better. I don't know, man. We shall see. Um, let's go ahead and get on with the show. Uh, Sandy and Drew, yeah, you guys don't have it in Europe, man. You're lucky. You don't want it. You don't need it. I promise you that. Let's go ahead and get to the show, my friends. How about it? Clickety, clickety. Let's talk about some big news going down in the world of WWE this week. Kane is going to the Hall of Fame. For what it's worth to you, for what it means to you, whether or not you care, I don't know. You and I, and by you and I, I mean me and all the rest of you, you and I both are, you and I all know, you and I all know, okay, that the Hall of Fame in WWE is determined by one cat and one cat only. I'm sure he's taking advice from people around him who he considers confidants and family and whatnot, but let's get it straight and don't get it twisted. Um, this is one guy's call. This is why yours truly doesn't get upset when celebrities are announced, when guys who work three matches in that company or have never worked matches in that company get in, when people who we consider less deserving are in and that kind of thing. You know, there's always stuff about, oh, so-and-so got in, Owen Hart's not in yet. There's a multitude of guys not in yet, right? I mean, listen, man, everybody can get upset over that if they want to. I don't get it. I used to be one of those guys. I'm not going to lie. You can go back through my columns over the years and see that I was one of those guys. But just because I advocate for someone that I believe deserves a spot in that Hall of Fame, here's what I'm going to tell you. Again, kids, one person makes the call here. It's not you. It's not me. No one's asking me what I think. Uh, WWE is not blowing up my phone and asking uh, pro wrestling writers to cast their votes on who the next entrant into the WWE Hall of Fame is going to be. That's not happening. It's one cat, again, one cat only making these calls. You know, what does the Hall of Fame mean? Here's what I'm saying to you. If you really want to know what the Hall of Fame means, dude, go ask the wrestlers that are getting in. Uh, on the bump, hate that name. Hate it, pal. Uh, Kane was live like via satellite with Taker, and Kane was choked up, and Taker was choked up, and it was actually a really, really cool moment. Um if you want to know what it means, go ask the guys and gals who were in. I think that's really, at the end of the day, all that matters, isn't it? Um, it means something to Kane. Good on him. Good on him. Shannon says, well-deserved. Absolutely. Sandy, there's been rumors about WWE wanting to make a like a brick-and-mortar Hall of Fame for years. We will see what happens. And he says, very well-deserved. I agree. Jamel says, it's about time. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Belinda, that is awesome for sure. Yes, everybody I think in the chat is is basically of the same uh, mindset that it's about time. Um, and there you go. And uh, let's see, Troy, what you got for me? I feel it craps on Kane a bit that postponed Batista's cause because uh, they want a crowd and he deserves it, but apparently Kane doesn't. Interesting take. Interesting take. Troy, I like, I dude, I like it. I'm not going to discount what you said. Troy's got an interesting point, guys. Batista went to his social media and said he wasn't going in, I guess because of schedule conflicts. And and it is what it is with Batista, man. We all know he's going in. There's no doubt about it. 
Uh, but Troy, I think, brings up an excellent point. Yeah, doesn't Kane deserve it? Um, Alicia says, I think they wait to put Taker in until they can have uh, in-person attendance. I agree with that for sure. Well, they're supposed to have 25,000 people there this year. That's the rumor. So you go. Uh, Sandy says, we need a fire entrance to Hall of Fame. I'm all about that. I love it. I love it. Um, Let's talk about some other news this week. Rhea Ripley finally made her WWE Raw debut. It's not how you say that word. I just think it's funny. Uh, Well, yeah, she, all right. So she's back or she's on the main roster, right? She wants Asuka. We all want it. And guess what? We're going to get it at the WrestleMania, folks. That's right. Rhea Ripley versus Asuka. Um, So the scuttlebutt and the word on the street is that Charlotte Flair has been out this whole time with the COVID. First of all, um, speedy recovery to Charlotte. Um, There are rumors abounding that she will be on SmackDown tonight. We will get to that uh, just a little bit later, just in a scoosh, if you will. Um, We will see what happens with that. Again, we got Charlotte haters aplenty out there on the World Wide Web. And you know who you are. Who doesn't like Charlotte because she's good? Charlotte shoved down my throat, Tom. I can't stand it anymore. Yeah, but Charlotte doesn't call her own shots. We've been through this, kids. You can get mad at Brock Lesnar if you want to. You can get mad at Charlotte Flair if you want to. It's a whole bunch of nothing. Okay? Your, Your hate and your vitriol and your anger are directed at the wrong people. Directed at Vince. I'm just saying, if you're determined to be upset with somebody, be upset with Vince. Alma says, News from Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. They announced they'll be moving up to the third floor. All the third floor room, more and more display. Cool, cool very cool. Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame been around for a while. Go look that up. It's good stuff. Uh, Carlos says, she's just getting wrong already, getting time. I'm like, yeah, Carlos, but dude, it's, it's Rhea, man. This is a little different. You can't. Not you, Carlos, but I'm talking about in general. People can't crap on Charlotte and crap on Rhea for the same exact thing. I mean, that's come on. You know what I mean? Uh, it's it's one of those deals where in in a storyline mode in the kayfabe world of pro wrestling, if you're a champion, if you're a babyface champion, or or even if you're not, and and someone comes up and confronts you face to face, woman to mo- woman to woman in this case, and says, "I I want you at WrestleMania." It's your option. It's it's champion's option, whether or not champion's choice, I guess, whether or not to accept, right? By the way, kids, we are streaming live today on the Twitch. So there you go. I don't know if it's going to save. We tweeted the other day um, uh, with the HVW podcast, and guess what happened? It did not work. I don't have any idea why it did not save. Well, it all right, so it streamed live, but it did not save. So I have no idea why it did not save. Um, if anybody has any, uh, um, if anybody ha- out there has any uh, 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 advice or words for me, I'll be glad to listen. I've not done enough investigation. I like Twitch. I just thought I would share it there and see what happens. Shannon says, why are people complaining? Paige won her first championship the first day and she didn't get all this hate. Take a second and read this. Everybody hush a minute and read. Shannon, excellent point. Elvis, we'll get there. We'll get there, I promise you. Ray says, I'm going with Ripley and upset. I, I agree with that. And then Charlotte takes it from Rhea. Everybody can get upset if they want to. You have to check a setting your Twitch options for it to say. Oh, t- Troy, you're the man. I may try to do that as we're live. <laughs> Don't think I can't multitask, baby, because I sure can. I mean, I don't know if I can. I'm going to attempt to. La, 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 la. Um, yeah, I need to do that for the HVW channel as well. Everybody, uh, hold tight. I'm going to attempt to do this. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Um, We're going to get back to the show. So, uh, uh, oh, man, Mark's talking about Champa versus Valter. Oh, man, we're going to get there, I promise you. 
So yeah, man, Rhea Ripley is going to get her shot. Let's go ahead and talk about one of the topics, the big topics this week. Did you guys and gals watch WWE Fastlane? Right? Sound effect. Nice, huh? Fastlane came and went. I enjoyed the show. I thought it was pretty good. What did you guys think about the Fastlane? What's everybody's uh, idea of it? What's everybody's take on it? Um. La, 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 boop, boom, there we go, I think I've got it, there, Troy, da, 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 there we go, it just says, it, I say, Troy, you still here, it says it only saves it for 14 days, store pass broadcast, automatically save broadcast for up to 14 days, 60 days for partners, turbo and prime users. So it only saves it for 14. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. It is what it is. Uh, back to regularly scheduled programming. Let's give the fast lane results in case you didn't know, you're going to know right now. Riddle defeated Mustafa Ali. And then guess what happened? It's the apparent fall of retribution. Everybody was upset at Ali's reaction to not winning the WWE United States Championship. That includes T-Bar, Mace Reckoning, and Slapjack. His name is Slapjack. I will never, stress the word never, I will never not be bothered by the fact that this guy's name is Slapjack. Come on, man. This best we got. This best we got. Troy says you can upload it onto YouTube or Facebook and it'll stay longer. Oh, Troy, I'm digging the crap out of that. Thank you, Troy. Troy, you're awesome. Very, very well done. Well done. Troy, you know who else is awesome? Slapjack. <laughs> I, 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 nah. moving on. Nia Jackson, Shayna Baszler with Reginald. With Reginald in their corner. He's a difference maker, kids. Defeated Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks. I actually called Banks and Belair for the win of the new champions. I was wrong. It is what it is. Big E defeated Apollo Crews. I posed the question last week, man. Troy, you were here with James Luft. Why are we going to push this guy this much and then only to have him lose? And guess what? He lost. Weird times, kids. Weird times. Braun Strowman defeated Elias because Shane couldn't work. There's a lot of words and meaning behind that statement, huh? Shane couldn't work. That's past tense. Shane can't work. I, I You know who can work better than Shane? Slapjack. I just can't. I can't. Sorry, I can't get off that. <laughs> Shane can't work. I guess what I'm trying to say is Shane can't work. Shane can't work his way out of a paper bag. The only thing safe in the ring with Shane McMahon is his opponent. Because he's not even going to come close to him. I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Timothy says Tom Clark's favorite wrestle set is... Hey, you know what? Slam Jack's not bad. Tim. That's not bad, dude. Slam Jack's actually better. Shane once again taking someone else's spot at Mania. Uh, well, yeah, Alicia. So, yeah. Oh, Alicia. Dear Alicia. You and I both know the deal here, Alicia. Shane's last name. That wink didn't come off good, did it? Wait. There we go. Shane's last name is McMahon. Spoiler alert. Um, I won't rant too much on that. I really want to. I really want to, but I'm not gonna. So, Shane throwing shade at Cheeseburger. First of all, everybody loves Cheeseburger. If you don't love Cheeseburger, you're an American. Shane. Plus, he was trained in Japan. He's got the, uh, what, um, what's the, what's the move? What's the move? Uh, Shota, what's it? What is it called? I can't remember the name of the move. I get what you mean, though. It's uh, it's uh, it's much different. Uh, cheeseburger is uh, yeah, wow. 
Claire, my God in heaven, Claire, where in the world have you been? We've been worried sick about you. Everyone give Claire a hard time. In Manchester, United Kingdom. Claire, freaking thank God you're back. We have missed the crap out of you. That's how we in America say welcome back. We missed the crap out of you. Claire, CJB. Oh my God, you got a new nickname. CJB is in the house, yo. Thanks for tuning in, man. Claire's working from home so she can watch. So you don't miss the bearded goodness that is Tom Clark. I could barely always get that out with a straight face, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. James Sargent says, Bo Dallas playing the Fiend as well. Oh, I'm digging that. Listen, if Bo's there, use him. Use him. Claire says, my friends. Well, there you go. The CJB. There you go. Awesome. We're just here to make friends. We're just here to make friends. That's all. We're here to make friends. And we're here to help educate people on the sport of pro wrestling. And to share what we love. Jason says, if you still like Cameron Grimes time after this last time, there must be something wrong with you. Jason, Michael Campbell. I kind of feel like, Jason, you're always looking for a little bit of a, of a scuffle. Am I reading you wrong, Jason? It kind of feels like you're always looking for a scuffle with me and other people. I got something to say to you, man. If that's how you feel. You can kiss my grin. Saying, I'm always going to love Cameron Grimes. You kidding me right now? Victor says, Shane McMahon should take over Retribution. He's going to need the help. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, what else we got here? Uh, Seth Rollins defeated Shinsuke Nakamura. Not surprised. A little let down. One loss doesn't mean much for, for Nakamura. It's, it is what it is. I mean, they've been doing fairly good by him the past couple months or so. So hopefully that trend continues. Drew McIntyre defeated Sheamus. No holds barred match. Excellent match, by the way. Um, really well done. Really good stuff. They beat the living, uh, dog out of each other. Uh, that's the truth. Um, Alexa Bliss defeated Randy Orton. I I don't I nah. I don't know. I I uh, yeah. Hot garbage. Yeah. Nah. Hmm. So um, <laughs> this moment of silence brought to you by Tom Car's main event. Listen, man. I don't know how you feel. I don't know how you feel. I don't know where your head's at. Um. Every week I talk about this, and for the most part, a lot of people are not happy with this whole thing. I would love to tell you it's over. It ain't over. It ain't over, not by a long shot. It's one of my really lousy Steve Austin impressions. Um, I just don't, um, yeah, I, I'm not, uh, yeah. Sandy says it was creative and I liked it. Sandy in Germany having a nervous breakdown this morning. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Rebecca says that match was a joke. It was rough. Stuff falling out of the sky. Shannon with a fun fact. Shane McMahon bought WCW 20 years ago today. There you go. Nice. I remember. Do you remember where you were when that happened? It's good stuff. Um, Andy says, how good has Drew been? He's been excellent, Andy. I'm in full agreement with you on that. For sure. For sure. Sandy. What did you expect from Alexa, Alexa versus Randy? Sandy got a good point, man. Make to, to, you know, make the uh, best with what you have. Yeah, you, you you make the best with what you have. What else can you do, right? And then the main event, uh, Roman Reigns defeated uh, Daniel Bryan. So chances are we're heading to some other stuff. Let's get to some other stuff. By the way, real quick for everybody watching. Hit that heart button and that thumbs up button. Give your boy a thumbs up, would you please? I had a bur by the way, my birthday was last Sunday and I got a gift. It was a smartwatch. Highly unnecessary. It's Apple Watch Series 3. So it's not like the $655 version or some nonsense. Um, it's highly unnecessary. I don't need it. I don't need it at all. But you know what? It's insanely fun to play with. I'm not even joking. 
I highly endorse the Apple Watch series. Please, for God's sake, go check it out. Bam. So there you go. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, yeah, ch- go check it out. So thumbs up or thumbs down for Fastlane. What do you guys think? Thank you, Reg. Appreciate that. Um, what do you guys think? Thumbs up or thumbs down for fast lane? I give it a thumbs up. I thought all in all it was a good show. I'm always, um, I will always give props to the talent who always put the work in to get over. Uh, I'm glad everybody was safe and no serious injuries coming out of that show. So there you go. It's always a good thing. It's always a good report to hear that that's the case. That's what we want. Okay. Everybody's saying thumbs up so far. Christopher and Sandy. Christopher gave it five thumbs up. Wow. Sandy gave it three. Thumbs up or thumbs down, kids. What do you think about this? Victor. There you go. Thank you, Sheree. I appreciate that. I did have some cake. Believe it or not, I had some cake. It's the first cake I've had in a long time. Because I am I am well below cruiserweight weight. Cruiserweight. Cruiserweight level. 205 live baby i'm actually 201 i'd like to get down to an even 200 and stay there you know what i mean andy fans are allowed at mania about twenty five thousand of them yikes uh jamel says i gave it a solid b there you go sandy says tom looking 20 sandy brother i know you know you're my favorite fan on here keep that up kid you're gonna go places Alicia says two thumbs up and two thumbs down. What's well, okay to be in the middle, man? It's okay. Keith says second half fast lane was better in the first half. Seth versus Shinsuke stole the show. It was a really, really good match. I agree with you 100%. 100%. Uh, let's get on with the getting on. WWE stuff. Here's what I got for you. I'm not doing the wrong SmackDown takeaways this time because we're talking a lot about this company uh, kicking the show off. The Hurt Business is in trouble. Remember what I told you last week, and I, I said this with Phil when Phil was on the show, and last week when Troy and James were on the show. I stick to it. WWE's not committed to factions anymore, kids. It's just not happening. They'll they'll tease it, they'll throw it on TV, they'll make you think, "Oh, look out!" No, nah, not since the Shield have they cared about this. Not really. Okay, like the Hurt Business had you know tag team titles and and. Uh, and WWE title for all of 15 minutes, and then they drop the tag belts. They they don't really, and they're getting ready to split the group up. It looks it looks like it's kind of uh, it's not kind of it's really messed up. Like why not just keep them together for a while, keep this thing together for a good long while with the gold, right? WWE's not committed to that. I think we all know that. Now you you should you could say you could say that it's it's just yeah, that we've not given it enough time. And it could be we've not given them time. Maybe we haven't waited long enough to see what they're going to do. That's fair. If you want to say that, that's fair. That's fine with me. I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, honestly. Yeah, sure. I'm okay with that. Uh, maybe we can see what happens. Jason says the Hurt Business that Keith. I would love to see Keith Lee join the Hurt Business. I'd love to see Keith Lee win matches. And and he doesn't have to win all. He doesn't have to go on a on a Goldberg streak or anything nutty. But I'd like to see him get treated with a little bit more oomph that we thought he would get treated with. A lot of people thought he would when he got to the main roster. Not everybody did. Certain people, certain people warned everybody, hold your breath for Keith Lee on the main roster. Who said that? I said, oh, I'll stop. I did. A lot of us did. I'm not breaking any new ground over here, kids. This is how things go. NXT, you're a star. Hey, best match of all time. Match of the year. Main roster. Crickets. Crickets. A whole bunch of crickets. Am I wrong? Nope. (laughs) Unfortunately, not wrong. I wish this wasn't the case. However it is, I know it. You know it. Everybody knows it. I wish it wasn't the case. I don't celebrate it. Everybody's pointing out the uh, Xavier Lee or Xavier Lee, Xavier uh, Woods. Sorry, uh, doing the uh, AJ. Yeah, that's good stuff. Sandy mentioned Andrade. Andrade is gone from WWE, so we'll see what happens. Shannon says, "I'd love to see Keith Lee." Period. Well done. 
Yeah, that's the rumor, Carlos, is that he's hurt. You know, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, so again, I'm not for this. I wish they hadn't uh, turned these guys on each other. It seems like I say quickly, but eh, it is what it is. Here's something else that people are going to be very divided on and probably upset over. The Miz versus Bad Bunny. You're a grown man. You're a grown man calling yourself Bad Bunny. You're a grown man. I'm all about branding. See? I'm I'm I brand too. I I got three different podcasts. They're all branded. Uh and 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 I be, I'm a big believer in you are your brand and you push your brand hardcore as much as you can because if you're in the entertainment business, which I kind of feel that I am, then I I I try to entertain in my tiny little little tiny minuscule corner of the pro wrestling world. It's not a very big corner. It's pretty small corner. It's about this big. But somehow, I lost weight, and I managed to slide right up in it. And I'm in there, and I'm like, hey, what's up, Tom? What's going on, baby? Uh, I'm big. I'm a big believer in branding. I think it's important. But you're a grown man. You call yourself Bad Bunny. Hey, go with God, baby. You're rich. You got the mad cash. You're on billboard. Limousines. Limousine riding, jet flying. Son of a gun. I don't throw shade. I don't throw hate. It's fine with me. I don't care. Go with God. Um, here's what I'll say about this thing. He'll be ready. He'll look really good. Miz will take care of him. That's what I'll say. And let's read the hate. <laughs> Reggie says the Miz versus Bad Bunny match will be hot garbage. Yeah. Sandy, I have no desire to see Logan Paul anywhere. Not at WrestleMania, not on YouTube, not at the gas station, not at Domino's Pizza. I don't want to see him anywhere. I I, I don't, I don't, it, mm, mm, mm. nah. Remember I said I don't throw shade? I throw a little bit of shade. You know how I roll, right? A little bit. Robbie says, I'm confused. Does Bad Bunny want to be a wrestler or a rapper? Can't he be both, Robbie? John Cena did it. John Cena did it. Yeah. Um, James says it won't be Pat McAfee good. Where'd that go? We'll see, James. We'll see. I don't know. A guy named Bad Bunny gets a Mania match, but Priest didn't. Uh, well, yeah, Toby, but again, don't don't get too bent out of shape over this, man. It is what it is, you know. Miss Lopez says WWE is about the money. That's why they have Bad Bunny. I can't disagree with that. I can not like it like a lot of people, but what is the point of not liking it? What is the point of not liking it? It is what it is. It is what it is. Andy says, feels like the rest of Mania card is missing a taker segment. So many really average matches. I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, DJ Vega says, no Brock Lesnar. A lot of people are not shedding tears over that, man. For sure. Um, let's talk about something else that's going to happen at Mania. Um, before we continue. Hot garbage. Look, you guys know where I stand. You know my thoughts on this. I will begin again with the same thing I began with months ago when this whole bit of nonsense started. Okay. I will not throw shade at Randy, Alexa, or Bray. A lot of what you're seeing on TV is supposedly Bray's creation, Bray's ideas, Bray's creative. And guess what? If that's the case, good on him. Because if if Bray's actually writing some of this stuff himself and WWE is going with it, that's awesome. I love it. You want to know why? Because he very rarely goes with anybody but himself. He meaning Vince, okay? So if all that's true, and Bray's getting to write this stuff himself. Awesome. Good for him and good on him for making that happen. I'm not a fan of it. And that's no disrespect to anybody involved. I'm glad everybody's relatively happy and healthy and safe. I'm glad that no weird injuries happened with him and Alexa in that previously taped match. I'm glad Bray's seems to be okay and everything's all right. And it, it's it's fine. And I'm sure there are fans out there who are getting entertained by this. I don't know if any of them is watching today. 
or listening later, I couldn't tell you. I will tell you that I'm not entertained by it. No disrespect. It's not for me. Okay. It doesn't mean I wish anybody ill will. It doesn't mean that I, I wish this would, do I wish the storyline would go away? Yeah, I do. I'm over it. I don't necessarily want the entertainers to go away because I'm, I don't want that to happen. Uh, phone calls abound. That's what you get for the smartwatch kids. <laughs> it's spam. It's all spam. Not answering the spam. Toby says, I'm a mega brave fan. I love the fiend, but my God, the new outfit is horrible. It's like supposed to be like he's, he was burned and it's, it's the tattered remains of him. Uh, Keith says Riddle does an open challenge for the U.S. Talent Mania. Lesnar shows up and pounds him under two minutes. I'd be okay with that. Not because he's he's beating Riddle, just because it'd be something to do, and it would tie into online stuff, which WWE doesn't do a whole lot of, to be honest with you. I think Brock will be there in some capacity. I do. Mark, I've not yet checked out the interview with Austin and Orton. I need to get to that this week. I was catching up on. Uh, um, I was checking out Invincible. By the way, Invincible's on Amazon for all you comic book guys and gals out there. Uh, the first two episodes are there, and it's really good, by the way. I don't know if all the... They didn't drop all of them, did they? Did they? Oh. I'm almost finished with episode two. Really good, by the way. Yes, Miss Lopez. Molly Holly will be inducted to the, Hall, to the Hall of Fame. Yes, yes, yes. Riddle versus Goldberg for the U.S. title. Yeah, I could see that, Elvis. I could totally see that. For sure. James says it was Vince calling. I hear you're talking trash about my company, pal. It's the worst Vince impression you've ever heard. <laughs> Isn't it funny, Mark, how Orton's wife's getting online and doing stuff now in storyline? Isn't that weird? They're going to put her on TV next. Maybe they'll have her in a swing with pigtails as well, looking at the camera and stuff with those eyes, you know, with the eye shadow and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Jason says, no, this is the best stuff like the Bliss has ever done. And the scary part of it is this Bray Wyatt might kill her when he gets back. Don't ask me where I heard that from, but I'm hearing it could be part of the storyline. Killer? Like, killer? Interesting. Hey, man, you could be a fan of whatever you're going to be a fan of. You're not hurting my feelings at all. Uh, but, but Sugar Shane says, how about we need a shocker in wrestling? Rich Swan defeats Kenny Omega. That would shock the world. That would definitely, you know what else shocked the world? The great Collie and WWE Hall of Fame. You know why, Elvis? Because people getting upset for the wrong, weird stuff, man. Brock shows up and costs Roman the title. Do you guys want to see Roman versus Brock again? Because I don't think I do. I, I mean, Roman paved a lot of the career he has today based on the fact that he went over on Brock Lesnar. I think they should just leave that alone, in my opinion. Just leave it alone. That's my opinion. Take that or leave it. Um, what else we got? Let's get to a, we don't have much of a SmackDown preview for tonight, kids. You want to know why? Because the company hasn't said much about it. Here's some stuff that we think is going to happen. More than likely, Daniel Bryan will be added to the Universal title match, making it a triple threat at WrestleMania. Now, we don't know this for sure. Don't go quoting me. Don't go quoting. How was that? Was that bad? Was that really bad? It's supposed to be don't go changing. Anyways, <laughs> um, don't go quoting me, man, because I don't know. But that's sort of what everybody's guessing, and I think it's a pretty darn good guess, yeah? Um, we'll see what happens. What What do you guys think about Daniel Bryan getting in to the Universal title match at WrestleMania? What do you think? Elvis says, Tom Clark for the Podcast Hall of Fame. God bless you and yours, Elvis. DJ says, what is DJ? What are your three, what are your other three of the podcasts need more good material to watch? DJ, you're awesome. The 6M podcast is audio only. The 6M podcast, look me up on Facebook and like the page. New episodes drop every Tuesday, DJ. Thank you. High Velocity Wrestling is the pro wrestling company I am the social media director for, and we are coming back live on June 5th. So the HVW, the official HVW podcast, look up High Velocity Wrestling on Facebook. When you see the black and purple logo, you will have the right place. Bam. Jason says that's not going to happen. You're delusional. You mean about Brian being added to the match? I mean, Jason, I'm glad you have backstage information that you know everything. Good for you, kid. I, I don't I don't know everything. Everybody listen to Jason. He's the smartest guy here. 
You know what's you know what's wrong, Jason, with the with the concept of that's not going to happen. You're talking about pro wrestling. You're going to stick to your guns and die on that hill of that's not going to happen. How about I don't think that's going to happen. I've seen plenty of wrestling writers over the years fall flat on their faces. I had a memory pop up on Facebook yesterday, the day before that I posted. And I didn't post the guy who wrote it, but some schmuck back a few years ago wrote that, um, uh, who was it? Kevin Von Erich was going to induct the Fabulous Freebirds in the Hall of Fame. Signed, sealed, and delivered. I'm yours. He knew it. That he's going to do it, Tom. The headline read it. Everybody copied and pasted and liked and said, yay. The New Day did it. Guy had the wrong information. You never go into a headline saying this is going to happen. That's dumb. That's dumb. I'm, I'm not going to paint myself into a corner. And here's something else, Jason. You may be right. Maybe they won't include Daniel. And guess what happens if they don't? I'm okay with it. Just like I'm okay if they include him. It's no skin off my nose, man. You go with God, man. Jason, let me tell you something, brother. You're being a little bit combative. Knock it off. Okay? You're starting to irritate me just a little bit. It's my show. Please knock it off. It's okay to agree to disagree. But you don't know what the word Mark is, Jason. Everybody read his comment. The word Mark is wrestling fan. Jason, you're on this side of the curtain. You're a Mark, my friend. You're a Mark. Does that make you feel better? Let's name call. There's no such thing as a Mark. You're a pro wrestling fan. To everybody behind the curtain, Jason, you're a Mark. Does that make you feel better? Let's all tell Jason how right he is. I hate that word. Want to know why? Because people use it as an insult to insult other fans. Knock it off, Jason, or go find another show to go call Marks at. God, it's so freaking silly. I hate that nonsense. You're a Mark. Who are you insulting, Jason? I'm a fan. You want to call me a Mark? Sure, I've been called a lot worse. A Mark is a pro wrestling fan. That's it, and that's all, period. If you don't like that, get out, or I'll show you the door. How's that sound? Good God. Am I wrong? Mark is a pro wrestling fan. Get over yourself, okay? Good Lord. Christopher says, is the next HVW event going to be streamed? Brother, that's the plan. That is the plan. I will keep you updated. And freaking Chris, thank you for asking, brother. I appreciate that. He says, I can admit I'm a mark. Then stop using the word. Knock it off. Knock it off. You ain't got to be here, okay? Knock it off. Play nice or don't play. It's my sandbox. Get it? There we go. What else? Since we're already making enemies, let's make some more, huh? If this is okay with Jason, there's a possibility Charlotte might show up tonight. Now, Jason, don't get mad, okay? Don't nobody get upset. Charlotte's not going to be there, Tom. You're wrong. Yikes, relax. Notice it doesn't say Charlotte Flair's returning and that's it and that's all and shut up. <laughs> this is fun. I like this stuff. Are you kidding me? There is a rumor. Everybody relax. Charlotte Flair could be there tonight. I'm not saying she will be. Relax. Good Lord. Anyway. I like Shard a lot. He is, he is, sorry. She is uh, crazy talented. She put the work in. She came up from being a tall and scrawny kid uh, to being considered by a lot of people as the best in the business as far as not just female wrestlers, but one of the best wrestlers in the bit. Now, listen, you don't have to agree with any of that. None of you do, okay? But I'm telling you where I'm coming down from. I, I got a lot of respect for her. I do. And if you don't think she's put the work in, ask Sasha and ask Bailey and ask Becky, and they'll tell you. She works incredibly hard to get where she is and to have what she has. Ric Flair didn't take bumps for his daughter. Get that straight, okay? So for anybody throwing shade at her, you're, it's okay if you don't like her. But if you had decide to attack her, attack the character. Please don't make it personal. It's so silly. We do, you don't know her personally. And if you do and you think she sucks, well, that's different. If you've met her in real life and you're, you know, 
my friend is her friend, whatever. And then I know she kind of sucks. Oh, that's kind of an educated opinion, right? But otherwise you're taking what you're seeing on TV and you're throwing it back in her face and throwing at that company saying oh, she's, she sucks and she wins all the time. Stop. Do you know what I mean? That kind of thing gets on my nerves, man. I guess I can't stop you if you want to behave that way, but be an adult. Everybody be adults. You know what I mean? Silly. I'm going to hate Charlotte because she wins all the time. I'm not a NASCAR fan. It's a whole bunch of cars going in a circle. I live in the South. I'm in North Carolina. What's up? Whole bunch of cars going in a circle. It's not for me. I, I just, I've never liked it. I'm not a fan. I'm never going to be a fan. But back in the day, Jeff Gordon won all the time. Do you know why people hated Jeff Gordon? Because he won all the time. It's like the Tom Brady argument. You know what they used to say about Jeff Gordon? Get ready for this. Everybody pull close. This is good stuff. They used to say, well, I wish you would give somebody else a chance. What? So we get this straight. In the middle of a race, he's trying to win. It's a big wheel, isn't it? Paw. It's like a semi. That would be fun. A sport where they race semis. God, sign me up. Are you kidding? Let's go here. That's too tall. That's too small. I don't know. You get it. Anyway, if you're just listening to the show, you have no idea what's going on, do you? Um, in the middle of a race, he's supposed to go, you know what? I've won a bunch lately. I think I'll just ease off this gas pedal. Hey, you guys want to pass me? Go ahead. I'm going to let someone else win. That's the, that's the moronic attitudes we have out of people in this country. And I'm sure in other countries too. But a whole lot of it here. There we go. So, anyways. Uh, isn't that weird? Cherie says, totally agree, Tom. Charlotte is a total package. That's why she is the queen. See, Cherie's a fan. Cherie's a fan, man. It's okay to be a fan or not be a fan. You don't have to be a fan of anybody because I, I'm a fan of somebody. You don't have to be. Just don't make it personal. Sugar Shane says, I love the heat on Charlotte Flair. It is best for her because she is leaving him to the Flair name. Look at how much heat Rick had against Dusty. That's true, Shane, but it's a little different if I can postulate to you, my friend. Rick was loved, beloved by people who did hate him. Can we say the same for his daughter? I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. So we'll see what happens tonight. Let's talk about a little, a few ratings here that are not in dispute. Okay. This week, SmackDown 2.01 down from 2.16 last week. Um, the week before, you guys get it. We're a week out because SmackDown's tonight. You understand. Uh, Raw 1.843 compared to 1.89. Nothing's changing with Raw kids. They're maintaining about the same place. Let's talk a little bit of NXT, shall we? If you are not hyped to the moon over Jordan Devlin, Jordan, Jordan Devlin, all right, uh, uh, versus Escobar, and it, 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 there's another reason to be hyped. Don't get hype. Stay hype. <laughs> That's good stuff. Because HBK, another terrible impression, came out in NXT and introduced the ladder. Slid it in the ring. They both stared at it, and he just danced off. That's good work if you can get it, man. Get a paycheck coming down. To, I mean, he didn't. Relax. But that's pretty good work if you can get it. So, yes, if you're not hyped for this match, dude, I'm telling you, you better be now. Troy, I know you're hyped for this. Don't even lie. I'm going to throw it to you, Troy. I don't like how they convey Charlotte as a sympathetic baby face, yet her whole gimmick is that she thinks she's a spirit. There you go, Troy. Absolutely, 100%. Totally agree. It, the fault is not in Charlotte. It's in the booking. Isn't it always Troy in the booking of these guys? Isn't it? 150% yes. Yeah. They're trying to portray her as something and work her as something else, and it's weird. Troy's on board, kids. Devlin is winning that. He's amazing. Oh, my God. I do that. I am so looking forward to that match. Toby says Devlin versus Kushida was awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, the boy. Bend down here and say hello. Come here. I'm too tall. The mic's here. Uh, What was that? You let the dog. Look, he's going to take his usual spot. and He's going to try to get in the shot. The banner's covering him up. You see? The banner covers him up. Take that noisy phone up out of here. Wow. Jim says, what's up with John Morrison's hair? Jim is, is pitching the serious topics to us today, kids. What's up with John Morrison's hair? And when is he going to leave Miz and shoot to the top? He's a great athlete and entertainer. Jim, I couldn't agree with you more. I, From the moment he got back and they paired him up with Miz again, we were all kind of like, that's what you're going to do? You know that face? 
that face where you're like, huh? Again, if you're just listening to all, you have no idea what's going on. But it's that face. You all know the face. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Sugar Shane says, WWE should make Roddy the ref in the Cole versus or Raleigh feud. <laughs> Excuse me. We shall see. Reggie says, I'm going with Valter for the win. Good day, Tom. David, down under David, is here. What's up, brother? Thanks for hanging out, man. Woo, I got myself choked up just now. Since everybody's talking about it, Adam Cole. Dude, where is my Adam Cole guy? Where's he at? Where's Ray? Ray Dean not in the house? Ray Dean not in the house. Alicia says, how does Morrison go from being Lucha Underground champion to being Miz a stooge? So what they want for him, that's where that's how they see him. He had to have agreed to it, right? Keith says, I can't wait for the Cruiserweight matchup. Cameron Grimes wins the Battle Royal and beats Gargano for the North American title. Oh, you know what? I'll buy all that. I'll buy all that for way more than a dollar. What's up, Wilf? Wilf, you're way late to the party, my friend. Way late to the party. And Ray is going to miss his thing. Ray's a thing misser today because we're talking about his boy, the one and only... There you go. Ray done missed it. Go find Ray, everybody, and tell him you re- you done missed it, Ray. Mark is demanding I talk about Walter versus Tommaso Ciampa. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. Um, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be very good. Um, Ciampa can work and work and work and work some more. You guys know that. I know that. We all, as a collective, know it. Wait till he gets in the ring with Tommaso Ciampa. Or excuse me, with Valter. There it is. Um, yikes. Troy says, Valter will drop the title on his own accord like Asuka did. There are plenty of people built up in NXT UK that could take the belt and it allows Valter to chase NXT title and have Imperium as tag champs. I'm with everything you just said. Because to Troy's point, how in the world do you beat Valter right now? What's his name? Rampage Brown? Is that, what they're, is that his, his working name? Dude. Mm-hmm. NXT UK Prelude, is that what they're calling it? Yikes. I, I'm, I'm anxious for that show. Bit, I'm doing great, man. God, you're so late. People are so late. People are so late. I love Valter. You kidding me? I love him. Good, fun stuff. Um, Reggie says, I think Adam will lose to go to main. Oh, God, Reggie. No, Reg, no, 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 no. I don't want Adam Cole on the main roster. I just don't. Troy, I agree with you. Rampage Brown is money. 100%. Randy, it's Joe the Panther from Dudes at Ringside Podcast. Are you looking forward to their RH? Randy, yeah, I'm going to catch that, man. I may not catch it live, but I'll catch it on replay. I got Honor Club, man. Uh, so, hey, everybody, go check out Dudes at Ringside Podcast. I know they're on the Twitch. Randy, if you've got any place else your show is, uh, pitch it here. Uh, let Tell everybody in the comments, man. Go go follow these guys. Good guys. Dave says, Tom, it's all right, Dave. All good. Super Dave Yarnell is in the house. There we go. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Alicia says he went up a job on the main show. You're probably right, Alicia. Tell my Adam Cole. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Um, what else we got going on? Let's talk about some AEW. A new show, another new show for AEW, Roads to the Top. It's a reality show starring, you guessed it, Cody, Brandy, the Nightmare Collective, the dogs, the whole fam. Listen, man. You can call this whatever you want to call it, but here's the fact. If TNT as a network didn't think that Cody had potential, this show would have never been greenlit. No chance. Because Tony Khan could pitch whatever he wants to. Cody Rose could pitch whatever he wants to. And I don't know if they did or didn't. Don't know. But it doesn't matter. If he doesn't have on-screen chemistry with his wife, if they're not fun and entertaining, if they don't have a story to tell, if the cameras follow them around for a week and the cameraman come back and the producer comes back and says, we don't have a show here. These guys are not entertaining. They're not inter- interesting at all. Then guess what? This show doesn't get made. Okay. So they, Cody's got something kids. We've seen him act. We've seen him do stuff. We know he's working right now on uh, what is it? Heels. 
with uh, Stephen Amell. Dude, he's got something. I mean, am I saying he's the next Hollywood star? I never said that, okay? Um, but he's got something. I think this show will be a hit. I really believe that. I don't know how much of a hit we're talking. I'm not going to predict ratings or do something goofball like that. But listen, kids, this is good for AEW. Very good for them. Mark says Kenny Omega wins versus Swan and Omega loses to Moose down the line. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Shane says, I will bet Eli Drake is regretting signing with WWE. He's already. St- I don't know, Shane. I, I Dude, I don't know. We talked a lot on the show, Shane, about how there's two different realities. There's our reality and the wrestler's reality. Our reality says Eli Drake was awesome. LA Knight, not so much. But in Eli Drake's world, and where he's at right now in his life, he may be saying, I'm having time in my life, man. Every night's a night off. I don't have to kill myself anymore. I don't have to prove myself. I'm here. I mean, not that he's laid back collecting a paycheck. Don't misunderstand me. That's not what I mean. But I'm saying the road to get there is over. He got there, and now he's putting in some good work, and he's going to attempt to make the best of his opportunity and try to impress them and impress the fans. Maybe he doesn't view it the way we view it, man. You see what I'm saying? Maybe that's not the case at all. I get where you're coming from. I get, and Mark, Mark says, not nah, should have steamrolled. I agree. Yeah, sure. But there again, we don't know what's in his head, man. There you go, kids. Everybody go check out the show for me. I appreciate that. There you go. Uh, let's see. Cross has the look, amazing entrance, and Mike's skills, but the in-ring ability is bad. Just my take. Toby, you're entitled to your opinion. I'm not sold on him as an in-ring athletic pro wrestler either. I think he's good enough. Um, I do think he has an insane charisma um, and it's okay to disagree with somebody and it's okay to not like somebody. I totally get it. I'm, I'm here for that conversation. Shannon says, as long as the town is happy, that's all that matters. I agree with you. I couldn't agree more. Uh, oh, Kenny Omega issues ultimatum, ultimatum. There it is to the young bucks and basically says, throw it up this last time. If you don't throw it up this time, we're done. Well, they seem to be done. Now, listen, we saw what happened when the Bucks supposedly tried to turn heel before. It didn't go too well. Um, I don't think the fans were buying it. I don't think the company was sticking with it. I don't think the Bucks wanted to stick with it. I think they were testing the waters. And there's this weird vibe in that company of there's no such thing as heel versus baby face. I totally disagree. That's not something we should ever get away from, dude. You guys know that, right? We should always stick to what... You know, dance with the one who brung you. And what is at the core of the professional wrestling business is good versus evil, right versus wrong, which means heel versus baby face. You need to clearly define heel, clearly define baby face. There you go. It's my it's my thought. We'll see what happens now. Are they are they straight face or is this gonna be a swerve on the fans? Who knows? Someone mentioned the pinnacle. There you go. Uh the pinnacle in action this week on AEW, looking strong, looking good. Um, I don't know where they're going with this. MJF is already mentioning the gold. So here's my thing. We've got this big stuff happening with Kenny Omega going to impact. Maybe Kenny Omega is showing up in new Japan at some point. The idea of a super show, which yours truly believes is coming in mid year, June or July. And that's just a, that's just a thought. It's not a spoiler alert. It's not even a prediction. It's just what I think could happen. Okay, kids. Um, so here's the thing. How do you throw a wrench in that machine? Put the pinnacle together and have MGS start talking about titles. That could throw a wrench in the machine, man. And I like that. When there's a straight, clear path in one direction, it's it's fun, I guess, but the, the path there is maybe not so fun because it's so clearly defined that we all just kind of know what's going to happen ahead of time. So instead of going that route, muddy the waters a little bit, right? Throw MJF in, throw the pinnacle in, say, hey, these guys are, he wants a title shot and this, that, and the other. Okay, sure. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, we'll see what happens, man. Uh, Mark says, I heard Demon King Finn is making an appearance to take over. We shall see. We shall see. Um, ratings. Then we open the floor, kids. This week, AEW 757 down from last week, 768. Um, last week, AEW. I'm sorry. Last week, NXT 678 down uh, from five. Or uh, uh, I'm sorry. Up from last week. I'll get it right. Everybody calm down. Uh, NXT gained some serious ground. Uh, AEW lost a little bit of ground. It, it is what it is. 
Again, I don't get too wrapped up in ratings. The only time I get wrapped up in ratings is when one of the other company passes a million mark, and that doesn't happen too very often. Again, as I've said multiple times before, multiple times before, the ratings are not going to mean anything, and they probably won't ever change as long as NXT and AEW are on the same night. When they split up, or if they split up, that's when you'll see some changes. Okay? That's how I feel. The floor is open, my friends. What you got for me? We've passed the hour mark. It's all good. We're two minutes after the fact. We will take it home in a few here. Uh, my kid and his friend want to go to the trampoline park. Uh, they're jumping with masks on, man. They, they're cleaning and sanitizing the place. Uh, yours truly gets a second shot on April 9th. I'll be glad to get it. Oh, Elvis is going to get all real rolled on me. Um, uh, you said it best, Elvis. It is a... Uh, uh, it is a uh, a senseless shooting. This got to stop. I don't get all political here on you, but the, the gun stuff, dude, at some point it's got to stop. My, my God, we just don't do anything except send thoughts and prayers, and that's not helped anybody for anything at this point. I'm sorry. It's how I feel. Shane says, I'm just nitpicking, but I saw a pic of the HVW tile on the face plate is great, but the ring on the side of the face plate need a little color. I get it. So that tile, we've had that tile for a long time, and we're not going to update it anytime soon. It's actual real metal, not plastic or anything. It's heavy too, man. It's a heavy son of a gun. But I get it, man. It's it's not a typical looking championship. It's more old school pro wrestling kind of look. You know what I mean? Shane also says, what's your favorite Marvel movie? Can you see? Uh, Black Panther. Black Panther is still my favorite Marvel film. I just love it. So, Oh, wait. Bam. There we go. It is. I love Endgame. I love the Spider-Man films, but I, I, for me, it's uh, Black Panther. I just love it so much. Did you see the picture of Tessa training with WWE stars? Any? I don't think Toby. In my opinion, it may just be a picture. They're friends. These wrestlers are friends. Not all of them, right? I mean, it depends on who they are. Of course, obviously. They're probably just friends on the outside of the business, and they just happen to be in the same gym. I don't know. Maybe they called each other up and say, "Hey, you gonna are you in town? Let's go to this gym." I don't know. Uh, whether or not it means anything, who knows, man? I don't know. Chan says John Silver looked great against Darby. Yes, ma'am, he certainly did. Chris, for I got nothing on Kelly Klein, my friend. I got nothing. I miss my boy Velveteen Dream. Whew. He was proven innocent? Really? Was he proven innocent? I have not heard that. I have not heard that. Do I think Rhea will beat Oscar Mania? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I enjoyed Darby versus John, uh, Tim. I, I enjoyed it quite much. I thought John Silver did uh, very well. Yes, Elvis. I really dug Britt Baker's promo on Dynamite. Very well done. what superior movie would you like to see I, I want black widow and black widow's coming right did they finally announce a date does anybody know i'm anxious to see black widow but i'll tell you this if they were to come up and say black widow will only be in theaters i'm out i'll wait till it hits the streaming service i'm not ready for a theater yet kids i don't know how you guys feel i, I don't know key says did you hear about the rumored angle with hbk and adam cole um, they, t they teased that before, haven't they? We'll see what happens. Shannon says, Ty Conte and Nala was good. The women's division is proven. I agree with that hundred percent. If they can take what happened last week with Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa and capitalize on that and build upon it, that could be their evolution, their version of evolution. You know what I mean? That could be their, their Charlotte and Becky and Bailey and, uh, uh, Sasha thing. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I heard that too, Cherie. Black Widow in July to theaters. If it's not also on streaming, I'll pay extra for it. It's fine, but I'm not going to go to the theater. Miss Lopez says, what do you think of Jim Cornette? Whew, how much time you got? So, I'm an old school fan, Miss Lopez. You guys should know that by now. I grew up on, on uh, Jim Crockett Promotions. Rest in peace, Jim. I grew up on the territory wrestling era. Best era of the business, in my humble opinion. Um, I had a lot of respect for Jim as a manager. I still do uh, for what he did in the business. I have zero to no respect for him now for the stuff he says. Uh, it, he sells himself, and he's in the business of Jim Cornette, and I totally get it. But, dude, when you wish death upon people, I'm out. I just think we got to be better than that. 
It's my opinion. He doesn't have to do anything. I don't care. Go with God or don't go with God. He's an atheist. Whatever. I don't care. Um, I, I'm not a much of a fan these days. And guess what? He doesn't care. He doesn't care. Yes, Tim. Christian Cage, first match next week. Help me out, Tim. Who's he got? God, I'm blanking on his name. SoCal Uncensored. I'm going to talk it out. Not Chris Daniels. Not Scorpio Sky. Frankie Kazarian. I got it. Everybody shut up. I got it. <laughs> Troy says Black Widow is coming out of theaters and on Disney Plus at the same time. Well, there you go. I'll be there for it. I'll pay extra. And I won't have the 2,000 calorie tub of popcorn because guess what? Weight loss, pal. Dave says, what was your take when HPK brought the ladder? I thought it was funny. I'm okay with it. I love the ladder match concept with, with these two guys because they're going to freaking kill it. Rhea will be a super champ holding the NXT UK and NXT and Raw champ. Oh, God, Victor going for the swinging for the fences on that one. We'll see. We will see. Toby says, just watch a Bruce Brody story on Dark Side of the Ring. What? It, yeah, dude, Toby, for guys like uh, me who are a little bit older and grew up with that story and were fans when that story actually happened, Man, yeah, it's a terrible, terrible thing. feel so bad for his family. Still do. Mark says, I'm throwing you a curveball. How many wrestlers have played the suicide character? I would say countless, Mark. I'd say countless. Christopher Daniels. Who else did it? And Mark, here and Mark. I don't know how many house shows TNA ran. And here's something else. How many times has that gimmick been allowed to get, to leave the barriers of of... TNA slash impact. Cause here, Mark, here's my answer to that question, brother. On any given night, Chris could have been sick. Somebody could have been double booked. Maybe somebody couldn't be there because of car trouble or delayed flight. They just put the suit and mask on anybody. That's how you can't answer that question. You can't answer it. Even if you give me a number right now, it's not going to matter because we can't say that for certain. There's a lot of other shows that never got on TV. I'm sure that we never heard about or saw, but he was there. A suicide was there. Shannon wants it. Bad. I'm going to give it to you. Are you ready, Shannon? You can kiss my It's the wrong button. Don't be hating. Don't be hating. <laughs> Wait. I'm going to the moon! There you go. Elvis says TJ Perkins. Elvis, I don't know why you would say the name TJ Perkins, but man, that's a long conversation. TJ got all weird, yo. He got very weird very fast. TJ saying all kinds of wackadoodle stuff on the Twitter machine. Tom doesn't much prove of any of it. I like him in the ring. Love his skill. He's got some mad skills, yo. But when it comes to him and his political views, I'm out. I'm out. Biz says, I keep hearing that Brock Lesnar is going to return. You're probably hearing correct. In my opinion, you're hearing correct. We will see. I don't know for sure. Yeah, you're right, Mark. Everybody's pitching the names. You're totally right. But I submit to you, there's probably more than those guys that we'll never know about. Just saying. Elvis, same answer. Same answer, dude. On Doink, same answer. And if you think... That there may be TNA house shows we don't know about. Imagine the number of house shows for WWE that we'll never know about. That Doink was on the card and a Doink was there, but it wasn't the same guy. There you go. There you go. Are you there? There you go. Okay. We're about ready to take this thing home. Let's wrap this thing up, kids. Uh, who's got something else for me? Who's got something else for me? Cherie says, here's one. How? How? You so said, how many women are done to be Hall of Fame so far? I'm going to count them all. I'm going to count them all, child. I want two, three, four. Dun, 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 dun. Get up. Um, I don't know. That's a really good question. Trish, Lita, Mae Young, Fabulous Moolah. They're all four in it, right? Um, 
what's her name? Uh, 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 is Wendy Richter in the Hall of Fame? Uh, uh, Sensational Cherry's in the Hall of Fame, isn't she? Miss Elizabeth's in the Hall of Fame, right? Right? The boys returned. Are you almost done? We're almost done. All right. Victor says, how was that cake? Extraordinary. Tom doesn't have cake anymore. It was extraordinary, Victor. I'm not even going to lie. My boy makes the dog uncomfortable. The dog's not a big fan of the boy. All right, one more. Oh, Landry Blaze. Troy, you're the man, Tag. I'm going to call you Tag from now on because it's awesome. And it fits the pro wrestling motif, yes? Tag. Great stuff. One more. Next one I see gets the last parting comment for this week, and then we're back next week. Super Dave, got it. Main is around the corner. I'm not loving the card. Had to be honest. Dave, I love your positivity. That's how we're going to end. That's terrible. Dave. All right. The next comment that's positive. We'll end on that. Give me something good. Give me something good. Cherie says, 14 women so far, not counting this year's inductee. Bit says, happy belated birthday. We'll end on that. We'll end on that. Okay. We're going to get out of here, kids. Uh, thank you, everybody, for hanging out as always. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for showing love on the Twitter machine, on the Facebook, on everywhere that Tom Clark's main event lives and exists on the Twitch. Thanks very much. Listen, kids. Tom Clark 6M Podcast. New episodes drop every Tuesday. Guess what's going to happen this week? The Snyder Cut. It's a long show. It's me, Phil Lindsay, and Chris Mueller. The 6M Podcast covers movies, music, Marvel, magazines, miniseries, and more. Bam! Right there. Off the top of the head. 6M is where it's at, yo. Yes, you got to know it. You got to know it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. It's 6M's, baby. You can't miss it. At live, new episodes every Tuesday, not live. All audio only. This week, coming up this Tuesday, the Snyder Cut, everybody. It's a big, long show, but we cover a lot of ground, I promise you. You're going to dig the crap out of it. Hear that, Claire, wherever you are? You're going to dig the crap out of it. It's awesome. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Listen, kids, everybody, thanks much for hanging out. We will see you guys next week. Thanks again for showing the love. We appreciate it. We hope you had fun here, man. Let's take this stuff off, off of here because we're getting ready to split anyway. Why leave it on? By the way, you can see the dog now. There he is. Hey! I should have his own entrance thing. Wouldn't that be fun? Again, if you're only listening to the audio show, you're totally missing out. Fridays, 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 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wrestling was Facebook Live. Yours truly doing his thing just about every week. Now we're getting out of here. Everybody have a good weekend, okay? We'll see you next week, next time. Tom Clark's main event.